Hello everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video on Tropical Storm Ian which is expected to become a hurricane. And so uh, there are various watches and warnings that are in place and uh, conditions could become very life-threatening in areas that are to be affected by the cyclone. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update on the tropics. And to show your support for the channel, you can leave a like on this video. Okay, and so let us go ahead and take a closer look at the uh, satellite imagery of Ian. And so we are seeing here that uh, the cyclone is quite disheveled right now. It's not very organized. Uh, there is all that shower and thunderstorm activity that is taking place also in the vicinity of jamaica so it's likely that eastern parishes are experiencing maybe some heavy rainfall from this cyclone but uh ian is not looking too good on satellite however that is expected to change as rapid intensification is likely to begin as early as today and so uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the cone forecast for the cyclone and so we're seeing here that uh, there are various watches and warnings that are in place as Ian is going to be heading to the Northwestern Caribbean. But I want to talk about Jamaica for a moment. So there was a tropical storm watch that was issued for the island. But due to Ian being continually steered to the west and even moving to the west-southwest at one point, that tropical storm watch has been discontinued as it got increasingly unlikely that Jamaica would feel tropical storm impacts. But I do want you guys to know that there is still that risk of flooding across some areas as a result of heavy rainfall that is likely from Ian. So please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe today and do not take any unnecessary risks. Even though that tropical storm watch has been discontinued, it is still possible for flooding to take place. All right, and so uh, Ian is currently moving to the west-northwest at 12 miles per hour and it has maximum sustained winds of 50 miles per hour. And so uh, it is expected to make its way to the northwestern Caribbean, uh, rapidly intensified into a major hurricane before crossing over the most westerly side of Cuba and into the southeastern Gulf of Mexico. And then the uncertainty for where it'll go after that is high because the center can pass anywhere within the cone and that is why the cone widens because there can be many changes with the system here. But if you're along the, uh, the eastern Gulf coast of the U.S., you should definitely be keeping an eye on Ian but uh, the good news is that and hopefully things stay this way uh, when Ian is going to be uh, likely making its way to the Gulf Coast it is likely that there will be some weakening that's going to be taking place so hopefully that is what happens because Ian is expected to become a deadly category 4 hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico and so let's go back to these various watches and warnings that are in place and so as of right now there is a hurricane warning and that is in red uh, in effect for Grand Cayman and that means that the island can anticipate uh, very dangerous conditions, strong hurricane force winds along with that heavy rainfall and that storm surge uh, as we're going to be heading into tomorrow. And then there is a hurricane watch that is in effect for the Cuban provinces of Isla del Ventur, Pinar del Rio and Artemisa. So those areas are likely to experience hurricane conditions as Ian is going to be making its way by possibly within the next 48 hours. And then there is a tropical storm watch and that is in yellow that is in effect for Little Cayman and Cayman Brac, as well as the Cuban provinces of La Habana, Mayabeque, and Matanzas. So those areas are likely to be in that tropical storm first wind field of Ian at the time and thus uh, experience tropical storm-like conditions. And so the main problem with any tropical cyclone is always with the water, uh, whether it be from that uh, storm surge inundating the coastal areas and moving inland or uh, the heavy rainfall. So uh, Guys, please take all the necessary precautions and stay safe if you are to be affected by Ian, whether it be in Cuba or the Cayman Islands. And then in the long term, Florida should be monitoring this because it could make its way into the states. So the Florida Peninsula should be on watch for Ian next week. But as I said, hopefully this 
uh, weakening that is expected will actually take place because I mean a category 4 hurricane is simply devastating and destructive so hopefully uh, the storm goes along with what is expected as of now but uh, we shouldn't ignore the reality that changes are possible either for the better or for the worse and so let's go ahead and take a look at current conditions in the vicinity of Ian and we're going to be talking about that uh, wind shear as well as the ocean heat content and so as of now the wind shear is quite conducive and that is marked by the green lines the green lines indicate that uh, we don't have a whole lot of interference from those upper level winds so things are working in the favor of Ian right now uh, the yellow indicates that there is neutral shear meanwhile the red indicates unfavorable shear and that is what tropical cyclones hate because uh, unfavorable wind shear really just helps to displace all the activity within the cyclone and prevent intensification and growth so uh, Ian is in a conducive environment right now in terms of the wind shear but again it is quite disheveled but should begin intensifying as we're going to be headed into the uh into later today and then as for the ocean heat content uh the reds indicate so much energy that is just waiting to boost Ian's intensity so very warm ocean waters it would be like fuel for your vehicle so uh once you have that fuel you can get going and that is what going to be happening with Ian as it makes its way into the northwestern Caribbean in all these conducive conditions so much energy uh, deep warm waters uh, that are just there waiting to fuel the tropical cyclone and so that's really going to be helping with that rapid intensification that is anticipated of the cyclone and then in terms of what the various models are expecting for it are they agreeing on the track and potential peak intensity of the cyclone so let's go ahead and take a look at those and so we are going to be starting out with the model track guidance here and so here we are seeing where these models are a lot tighter uh they are agreeing a lot more on this track of ian so it is definitely likely that ian is going to be uh, making its way to the northwest but we see that when it is going to be entering the gulf of mexico we kind of have the tracks being more dispersed uh, because again there is uncertainty for the cyclone but uh, for the most part most of these are showing that florida is going to be getting hit even though uh, they're showing different areas in florida but uh the entire state should be monitoring the progress of this system because as i said uh, it is likely to bring some very dangerous impacts that storm surge the heavy rainfall these strong winds so uh guys please ensure that you're preparing and listen to the advice or the instructions from your local officials and then in terms of the model intensity guidance here we are seeing that quite a bit of models as a matter of fact majority are expecting that this will eventually become a major hurricane cat 3 cat 4 one even showing a category 5 so i don't think that is impossible uh because come on we're talking about the gulf of mexico and rapid intensification of the cyclone that is expected but as i said weakening is expected before uh ian would be making landfall because unfavorable conditions are likely to start kicking up by that points to help the cyclone to uh, weaken so that is what is on the horizon for Ian as we're going to be heading into the next several days so again the northwestern Caribbean uh, the Cayman Islands Cuba are going to be feeling some dangerous impacts there is still that uh, heavy rainfall that is expected for Jamaica that could result in flooding across some areas uh, but that tropical storm watch was discontinued yesterday and so guys I will be keeping you updated as time goes by and if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments i'll try to respond as best and as soon as i can and of course remember to always be weatherwise